All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we we'll get all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakhadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, 144,000 and one third men, women, and children that order this is Shema Allah. It's Amuan with the Great Millstone chapter out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, we're gonna go into this um, video dealing with uh, Grandmaster Jay, uh, the leader of the uh, Not Fucking Around crew. Uh, and what we see here, we see we see a madman that's leading a bunch of lost uh, two-third Jake uh, into a trap. Uh, eventually uh, gonna, gonna get them judged and uh, destroyed in the end uh, i'm gonna play the video then we're going to some precepts to uh to coincide with the video but i'll further do is here's the video i came down this motherfucker and they said they was gonna kill me, right the gbi said they were gonna kill me, until somebody to work in the gbi told them so i told the world they turned all y'all into killers so they let that go then the KKK got mad because we went to McBride, McBride's house and we went to McMichael's house and went to kill him. And then we told him we shot the clan up, so they they mad about that. Hold on. And everybody told me don't come down. Y'all don't want to know how many motherfuckers told me you go down and they gonna kill you. Straight up, these supposed to be people that had my back. And I said, you know what? I don't believe that shit true. I'm a child of y'all. And he, I didn't put myself on this mission. He did. I didn't create NFAC. He did. I didn't touch all you motherfuckers. He did. So I figured if, it's, if I'm supposed to come down here and get killed, that's the way the book is written. You can't escape your destiny. I'm either going to get killed here, or I'm going to get killed in Louisville, or I'm going to get killed somewhere else where they fucking up. But I'm cool with that. You know why? Serve it. Job well done. I I rather die for one of y'all than to die over some bullshit. So I'm here, and what happened? Did the KKK show up? Hell, Hell no. Did we go out that bitch deep? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Did we go out that bitch to kill him? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. He was ready to die. So you want me to give you a good one? We just showed the fucking world yeah. that all this singing and shit doesn't get you any fucking thing. The only language they understand this right here. is this shit right here. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I found out. Now this shit is all over the fucking news. Now everybody want. I don't want no fucking praise. Cause 30, 60,000 of y'all should have showed up. And what we got? A thousand. So all you other motherfuckers, I smell pussy. All day. Yeah. So that's what I found out. I found out that a lot of you motherfuckers just talk. And I got what? 18, 20,000 motherfuckers that joined me in the last week? For that's what? Right. For what? So next time we do this shit, we gonna find out again. Who real? And who just like to sit behind their phone and talk shit? Yeah. That's what. That's what I found out. And y'all the realest motherfuckers I've ever met. I love all you motherfuckers. Hey, Westwood Report live from downtown Atlanta, Georgia at CNN Center. And we have what organization is this today? This is NFAC. Some of y'all know what this is. Some of y'all confused us with the Black Panthers and the Huey Newton Gun Club and a lot of other people. But if you remember what happened in Brunswick, that's us, the Not Fucking Around Coalition, the NFAC. That's who we are. So white supremacists have threatened to kill black people this weekend. Have you heard about that? Let me explain something to you and your view. Yeah, we heard all of that, but see, we don't scare. We don't hear they threats. We threaten back, okay? That's the problem. Scary Negroes repeating what the enemy said. If they said they're going to kill black people at 8 o'clock, damn it, stay back. We're killing white people at 8.05. Stop repeating to us what they say. Cause they haven't made good on one threat today. So today we went up on Stone Mountain where the Klan was born, with a thousand of my soldiers looking for the Klan. So we don't we don't respond to threats. We can make threats. That's our problem as a people. We keep playing ourselves as the victim. We don't want no more apologies. We want to give some apologies. We don't want to have to understand. We want y'all to have to understand. What is the mission of your organization? To protect black people in their communities, in our mother, in our, I'm going to curse on the show, in our money, in our education, as far as our kids, as far as the sisters, no matter how strong they are, our own self-policing, our own self-patrol, the whole nine y'all, and then become the backbone, for, become the backbone but the military for a new black nation. What is the solution to all of this? Next the the solution is very simple. We follow a declaration. Okay, so, and as you can see, he's using the uh, term uh, black and white. 
as uh, we all know that that's a social construct that's been created to uh, keep confusion upon uh, Jake. Uh, first precept on the pool, because I, 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 um, I heard him over, overheard him say that, you know, taking matters in pretty much to his own hands, in which we understand that uh, Yahweh Bashim was shy. That's 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 the job of the, of the Most High to take care of, you know, as far as dealing with our enemies. The vengeance of the Lord, and I'm gonna grab that uh, in Romans. Uh, Romans uh, twelve nineteen. It says, "Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine; I will repay," saith the Lord. Hey man, the Lord, the Lord will repay, you know, and as you can see, the mindset and the spirit that is on this man is one of wrath and he's going to, he's going to take as many people as he can with him in the process. All right, say real quick, guys like that, they only, they were just set up to get Jake roused up and then them type of guys to step out of the way, man, God. you know. And then the guys that he's going up under is that he's uh, marching for the Israelites. And uh, um, all, you, all you hear him saying is black. The Israelites aren't only black, it's 12 tribes. That's right. Don't forget the Latinos and the Native Americans and stuff, man. So he's an agent provocateur. They, in actuality, Esau want to come down upon the Israelites. Us, us elect that's out there. Yahweh says that we have the elect. But that's men that's out there uh, teaching this word, you know, because it's getting to them, man. So... Yeah. Uh, quick, quick grab of uh, knowledge and wisdom. It'll be a stability here. Wisdom, knowledge, and stability in our time. time. <clears throat> it's Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation, for the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right, so the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures and knowing is true is what's going to keep you and have you safe in that coming time, man. And knowing to avoid guys like this, man, that's claiming to be somebody like the scripture said in Acts, but then got overthrown, man. Guys like that's going to be overthrown, man. That's right. And then, that's prophecy. You should have read that when you are uh, 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 in, the, in the scriptures before you went outside, man. But that's how you know them guys are set up, man. That's right. And, uh, you know, that, that wisdom and that knowledge goes right into uh, Romans 12, 18, because it, it says, it specifically says, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. So that's not living peaceably with all men. Yeah, no. That's not. That's, that's, that's provoking a war amongst, <laughs> you know, the, the nations as far as, I mean, as we see it, Esau and Jake, because you're saying black and white, and those are the social countries they use to describe, you know, th these two different nations. In our time, it says, um, uh, you know, Exodus 23 and 2. This is Exodus chapter 23, verse 2. It says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest, rest, rest judgment or wrestle judgment. Right, so you're not supposed to follow no multitude to do evil, man. What they're doing is evil. Why? Because it's coming up against the, uh, uh, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai. It's coming up against the scriptures, man. You know, ain't nothing righteous about them gathering and taking up arms. Somebody we gonna kill, kill every cracker we see, this, that, and the other, man. Esau, the Ku Klux Klan, and Esau was set up. What saying, people were set up uh, by the Lord, man, to do what they're doing. Because he talking about killing the Klan. A lot of people fail to realize that, that the Klan is your police officers. That's the right. Klan is your judges. The Klan is your politicians. You know, so on and so forth, man. So he trying to take down, ultimately, in essence, he trying to take down the establishment. You ain't just going up there just to take down no clan, no no small bit of clansmen. And then not to mention, the clans, and just as another note, 
these clansmen, these head, heads of these clansmen, and a lot of them that's involved with that organization is witches. And Jake and them don't even know that. Them are wizards. It, with, the wizards, the top ones that run the clan are wizards. And then you got the uh, wizards and the warlocks uh, uh, or the wizards and the witches involved all in that, man. That's right. <clears throat> I'm going to go on to uh, herd mentality. But that's going into, uh, what's his name? Master, what's his name? Jam Master J? Yeah, Jam Master J, yeah. Yeah. He used to rap, right? I fucking no, 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 no. He's a, uh, he was a DJ. Oh, and then he also was a Freemason. He also was <laughs> ran for president. Freemasons believe in Satanism. And if mm -hmm. you call yourself running for any type of presidency and got at that type of level, you deal with witchcraft too, man. That's right. They don't just pick no anybody to go run for no president presidency. People should know that by now. That's right. Voting don't count, man. Right. Well, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I wanted to read this. This is uh, her mentality. And I believe uh, Elder uh, Manathazat went, went into this. Um, I think so. He about the herd mentality. No, that was uh, Apostle Ramla. Apostle Ramla, Salakia. Um, and uh, it says herd mentality. It says also known as mob mentality describes a behavior in which people act the same way or adopt similar behaviors as the people around them, often ignoring their own feelings in the process. Oh, you gonna go protest? Fuck you, we gonna go protest. Mm -hmm. Even though you know damn well y'all finna to get killed, locked up, you got kids you thinking about, you know, you thinking about all the possible things that can happen, but you just gonna go ahead and be a follower. That's what that is. Her mentality, her, her mentality just mean you're going to be a follower. Right. Uh, it Whatever says, happens, just happens. Uh, and it says right here, it says, think of a sheep blindly following the flock no matter where they go. Just because that's the what the herd is doing, yeah. Um, and that and it's crazy because like I think about the blind leading the blind, yeah. And it's like they're you know roughly paraphrasing they lead them into lead them into a ditch. Yeah, that's what's happening with them guys. Yeah. Um, now going back to this uh, because I think you heard him say like he was upset that like all the people who joined didn't show up. <laughs> You know, so he's got to say like, hey, all right, everybody joining. We had 30,000 join, only 1,000 showed up. Yeah. And, you know, he's calling people out. Oh, you know how Jake is. You call Jake out, all you got, Jake got to show you. Yeah. You're like, yo, I'm tough. I can do it too. So he's trying to provoke that wrath in people, that 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 that, that, that vengeance uh, spirit. Mm -hmm. um, now, with that being said, we also, we understand that, that Esau's blessing is the sword. And he's actually... I guess I'll bring out Psalms uh, 17, 13. Um, you want to have, you want to go? We can start with Romans first. Romans? Yeah. Which one? 13. Um, Romans 13. Get to Psalm 17. Romans 13. What? Uh, 13. Uh, That's what I want. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's a lot. All right. This is Romans 13, verse 1, and it reads, it says, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. Right, so them, them call themselves taking up arms to go fight the KKK. Eventually, y'all going to have to fight the, uh, the United States government. You know, it says, whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of the Most High. Right. To resist means to fight against. And that's exactly what they're, uh, 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 the spirit that they're moving mm -hmm. in, you know, and that like is the spirit that he's trying to provoke. God. And then it shows their lack of knowledge, like that wisdom and knowledge. They don't have it. They don't understand this particular scripture right here. That's it. You know, it says, uh, and they that so resist the tell you to obey. The government and all the above, man. Okay. When you break that scripture down, when they break, when they break that scripture down, but that's not what they're saying. They're saying the Lord is in control of the government. The Lord set the government up, just like He set up Pharaoh. Yeah, you know. He says, and they listen to the things that you're supposed to listen to, as long as it ain't going against what you what you can do in the scriptures. Man. That's right. 
Let me read it again. This is verse 2. It says, whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of the Most High. Yeah, so if you fight against Esau, you're fighting against uh, 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 Yahweh Shema Shah. You're going against what the Lord uh, set up. <clears throat> it says, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Right, so they're going to be condemned. So they're going to die fighting these crackers, man. A lot of people that was there that probably didn't get, get involved going to die because they followed them out to, to do evil. They shouldn't have been out there. Them crackers recording everything. God. Esau records everything. And they'll come find you just for being out there. They could at least, they could have brought a drone, just dropped the drone strike and killed everybody in that in, in that area within seconds. Yep, if they feel the need to, they, they can. can. Those little assault rifles and little guns ain't a, ain't a match to what the Lord has blessed Esau with. Yeah, think about it. The Lord blessed Esau with <laughs> the sword. That's it. There's nothing you can get that can outdo what he's blessed them with. So, and he put, he's like, like I said, he set them up. So you fight, you, you're really fighting against the Lord in the sense that you're trying to take on Esau by yourself without the power. Now, now you might got some Jake that's cold with weapons is better than Esau too, but still, God. that's his blessing. God. Uh... That leads me into this one. Um, it's lock here. This is Isaiah 59, 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh, from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, shall lift up a standard against him. You know, so when Esau comes in, ready to take Jake out, hey, the Lord's going to give his elect that spiritual power to be able to fight against Esau. Right now, we're, we're, we, we are not, we don't have the power. You know, and uh, again, we go back to saying, vengeance of the Lord. When he gives it, when, he, when we wait on the Lord, he gives us that power. We'll, when we have that power, we'll know that it's time. Oh yeah, you don't know. Okay. <laughs> uh, go back to that Romans. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Verse three. It says, for rulers, this is Romans chapter 13, verse 3, it says, for rulers are not a terror to good works, yep. but to the evil. Right, and what we're doing is a good work. We're breaking these scriptures down and uh, feeding the flock, you know, preparing them for the day of battle, you know. What they're doing is evil. That's why they go, that's why they're going to see to themselves uh, receive damnation. Go ahead, slack it. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Mm -hmm. Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. Right. For he is the minister of the Most High to thee of for good. But if thou do what which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. Yeah, man. The Lord gave Esau the sword just to execute judgment upon uh, Jake, man. Esau, the white so-called white man, is the Lord's sword, man. It says, for he is the minister of the Most High, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Therefore, ye must, must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. Conscience sake. So, like a conscience sake. So we ain't supposed to be getting involved in the beginning if he was actually thinking about it. Mm -hmm. It says, for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are the Most High's ministers attending Continually upon this very thing. That's it, man. Okay. I got a precept real quick. This uh, Psalm chapter 17, verse 13. It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So them police officers were set up to uh, kill Jake them for doing uh, wickedness and evil, man. The KKK is full of police officers, military men, senators. Like I said, man, so if you think you're just going out there to fight some regular Joe Smo that that got neighborhoods filled with white folks that, you know, just regular white folks, and then you got your mind, man. That's right. But it says, uh, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, from men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, man. So the Lord set these elites up. These elites set this, this government up and all this, that's established here to persecute Jacob. Because they're the ones who got their portion in this life, man. Whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure, 
they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes, right? And they pass their children their, uh, 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 down their substance and everything. And then their children keep ruling with that same iron fist that was set up by the Yabashim al Shai, man. This is the modern-day Roman Empire that we're living in, man. Uh, look, last scripture I got. Uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 10, verse 5, verse, lucky, verse 4. And it reads, it says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the, the power, so like mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. So, hey, our weapons aren't carnal like Esau. We don't have, we don't have assault rifles and the, uh, the blessing of a sword to, to be able to uh, distribute, uh, I would say, what, what would you say? Distribute. Kill, like yeah, kill, kill, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his his so-called justice. Kill, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His, his, his so-called justice on on the on the uh, on the people. This ain't our kingdom, God. This ain't our kingdom to be trying to establish nothing. Mm -hmm. To be trying to uh, sit out here and kill people off and correct nothing. Uh, it's our it, kingdom coming. That's when we're gonna get that authority. Uh, it's like the cap that cap they said like. Oh, we want to tap into Esau's blessing. Hey, that that, that wasn't our that wasn't Jake's blessing. That wasn't Jake's blessing. That wasn't Jake's gift. Uh, you got Jake's that know how to use it, mm -hmm. and you know you use it for whatever you might want to, you know, for your recreational purposes. You know, have fun and everything, but you don't promote that. You don't promote it. You don't got to be showing showing nobody that uh um uh, uh that's how you get down. That's vain glory, man. Brothers, guys are seeking vain glory. That's right. Yeah, I'm good. That's it. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, so, with that being said, we're going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakar Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect uh, and the one third men with the children in order. Uh, until next time, Shalom. Shalom.